folks, Mr. C here with another little um, help video on how to uh, configure SAM Broadcaster for uh, better broadcasting. In the last video we showed how to set the music level sliders, index A and B, so that when you play your music, the music volume is at the top of the green uh, and or the bottom of the yellow. Once you've done that, you save configuration. Now, that means every time you open SAM, these music sliders, index A and B, are going to remain where you left them, which means all your music tracks uh, should play nicely at the top of the green, bottom of the yellow. But when it comes to your voice, uh, which is controlled in this voice effects box here, your mic volume slider, even when it's maxed out, you may find isn't giving you sufficient volume. Now we can evidence that when we turn the mic on and the lock talk, the level indicators indeed are extremely low. And even if you bring your mouth quite close to the microphone, you might still find that it's still not quite loud enough. So what do we do? Well, I think this is where uh, um, some uh, guidance uh, may go a long way. What we do is access the Windows um, audio control facility which you get by right clicking your little speaker icon on the bottom right hand side of your Windows taskbar uh, speaker icon or whatever other um, uh, sound or uh, audio uh, manager you've got going on uh, you right click the little icon and then you select uh, audio properties or adjust audio properties in my case here it will vary from um, uh, system to system depending on which version of Windows you've got etc. Uh, select voice and look for your microphone voice recording it's called here the uh, little microphone symbol kind of gives it away um, under the microphone symbol you can see I've got a little volume button uh, yours again may be slightly different uh, but as long as you're d dealing with your voice recording device i.e. microphone uh, you will have uh, something similar. Click on the volume button and it opens the microphone volume uh, adjustment and as you can see my slider is indeed very low so I'm going to bring the slider up I'll leave it about there. Close that down. You should be able to hear the the increase in my uh, voice already. Click OK. And now, when you look at the um, level indicator, you should see that the voice has indeed uh, started to be um, amplified a bit more. You now use this. Uh, microphone volume slider you know for example if that had uh, pushed it up a little bit too high you can bring it down or in this case it, it uh, does actually want to go up a fair bit more now the distance your mouth is from your microphone uh, really affects these levels as well as does the uh, volume that you're uh, using your voice at it is quite a challenge to keep it in exactly the same place all the time but the idea is we're looking for something in the way of a correlation between the um, level indicator in your uh, voice effects um, level indicator here and the um, indicator on your music so if I play this music here you can see uh, well you will if I take the lock talk off you'll see the level indicators top of the green bottom of the yellow and that is ideally where we want it um, in our voice effects as well once you've made those uh, adjustments just bear in mind wherever you fine tuned it to um, once you've stopped SAM uh, or closed SAM down and opened it up again uh, this slider here will have defaulted to this position so uh, before you go live always make sure that you fine-tuned it to try and get it somewhere in this sort of uh, region here 
doesn't actually have to be touching the um, yellow it just doesn't want to be too down the green and it certainly doesn't want to be um, up into the red which will just distort your voice so I'm hoping that's um, uh, helped some of you out the other thing to bear in mind which um, catches uh, a lot of us out if you're not paying attention especially the uh, longer broadcasts because what I've noticed is uh, the longer you broadcast so the delay time between uh, you finishing speaking and Sam actually processing your voice increases you know it could be anything from a, a couple of seconds uh, up to about 30 seconds and the only way to uh, notice that is to observe the level indicators here or indeed down here in the um, encoder window once you are actually streaming live uh, you'll observe them bouncing up and down as you speak just like they are here but the longer you broadcast what I've noticed is the uh, delay time starts to increase so that when you actually finish speaking the level indicators will still be bouncing up and down now if they are and you take your lock talk off to play your music track what you've just invariably done is you've clipped off your voice you've missed a few seconds um, of what you heard yourself saying uh, but your listeners haven't so to avoid that from happening before you take off your lock talk make sure that the level indicator here has indeed stopped bouncing up and down and as I say it can take anything from a few seconds to uh, maybe 30 seconds um, once it stopped bouncing up and down that's assuming it's not picking up some uh, background audio once it stopped bouncing up and down that's when it's safe to take off the lock talk knowing that uh, you haven't deprived the um, listeners of uh, the vital information you were looking to uh, impart to them so finish talking and then wait for the bouncing up and down to finish in the level indicators here just like this then you take the lock talk off if you do it before it's finished bouncing up and down you've just clipped off whatever it was uh, you thought uh, you were uh, allowing your listeners to hear uh, that's it basically folks for this uh, video hope it's been of some help and if I uh, think of anything else uh, pertinent and not too technical to uh, share with the uh, newer hosts I'll um, do that as uh, soon as I'm aware of what it is that uh, needs addressing anyway hope that's been of some help to some of you anyway thanks for listening